180 ballistic missiles were just fired at Israel from Iran. This attack was a little bit different and they fired them all at the same time. In 12 minutes, many dozens of these ballistic missiles hit all over Israel. Of course, Israel shot down the ones with their sophisticated algorithm detecting which ones would target cities and which ones would fall into open fields. And they miraculously shot down every single one when it counted. Only two Israeli civilians were lightly injured in this attack, historic attack. And a few people were injured as they ran to bomb shelters, as it usually happens. A few people always trip and fall. Additionally, there are reports of one Palestinian from Gaza who's currently in Israel. He was killed by an Iranian rocket. The people that the Iranian regime purports to stand for, to fight for, they're the ones who the Iranian regime kills. Of course, Israel has vowed to do a response never seen before. Israeli ministers have put out statements saying that this attack, this response to this attack, will be historic. Some people are saying they'll target the nuclear installations. Some people are saying they'll target the oil fields of Iran. Some people are saying they'll target Khamenei, the supreme leader himself. Whatever it is, it's going to be huge, and we will update. But this attack has come the most inopportune yet opportune time just after Israel invades Lebanon. This is going to be either the start of a World War III or the start of a new, beautiful, and peaceful Middle East. These next few days will be historic.